The divisional playoff game was a wild one. We went back and forth, back and forth, until with one minute left, I tried to stop on the one yard line, milk the clock and kick a field goal, but my opponent had other plans. And a thousand IQ spear tackle took me into the end zone, which meant that I was up seven, but he had the ball with a minute left. He rolled out right and tested Lawrence Taylor, of all people, in pass coverage. Despite no lurk artist Lawrence Taylor came up with the interception sealed the ball game and propelled us to the NFC championship what's good boys it's been an amazing season of Willamot and we've had some really close games we had two losses as well so we're one loss away from not even making the playoffs a little round of applause for our Lawrence Taylor who is obviously a pass rush guy but he decided to snag just in case today is the NFC championship which means we're only gonna get two wheel spins so we're gonna have to make them count there's a few things I could use on this team I could Definitely use a D tackle too. I could probably use a better second middle linebacker. Not sure Demario Davis is really my guy. Could potentially use a right guard. Could definitely use a fullback. I run a little bit too much eye formation to have Fred Taylor out there lead blocking. But of course, we have amazing wide receivers. We have the most clutch 93 overall halfback in Dre Archer. One of my favorite quarterbacks in this game, CJ Stroud. My left tackle, right tackle are amazing. Sayamalo at center is way better than his overall gives off. Um, so it's really just Cam Jurgens, Shelby Harris. Demario Davis and maybe Derwin James if I really want to back up. Let's waste no time, gentlemen. We have two wheel spins since it's the playoffs, but it is a juiced wheel, so we have way better odds to get awesome players just like this. 93 to 94 team wheel. So any 93 to 94 overall player, but they must be a Raider. I feel like that's probably not good. Although that's not fair. I shouldn't say that until I check. Dude, actually, both of these are really cool options. Marcus Peters, Bo Jackson. So I was saying I kind of want to get Derwin out of there since he's a little bit of a liability. Bo Jackson would be a sick replacement. And same thing, like Marcus Peters could be the backup safety too. 93 speed, six foot tall, because this is just my sub. This is my sub on nickel. Okay, Bo Jackson's taller and faster. I think I'd go Bo Jackson. Damn, Raiders Act, Raiders Act would be a really good option. They have Darius Hayward Bay. They have Jack Tatum. Don't hate Jack Tatum, to be honest. But no, I think it's a Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson, strong safety. Nice pickup here. So when I'm running these nickel sets that require me to bring in an extra DB, I no longer will have Primetime or Kawan Williams, who obviously both are kind of liabilities. And I no longer have to go Derwin James. As much as I love Derwin James, and he really has been clutch, not the best prestige right now. Really hoping he can get an upgrade. Bo Jackson. Jackson's got plus five speed, plus six acceleration, significantly better option here. So that'll be my backup uh, corner that comes in. So when I'm running nickel, it's now going to be Jesse Bates, Malik Hooker, Bo Jackson, Darius Slay, Devin Hester, Jalen Ramsey. All six of those guys are absolute studs. And then I'll have three linebackers in, which will be Ray Lewis, Christian Harris, Lawrence Taylor, and Demario Davis won't even be a part of the picture on those sets. So it's honestly kind of hard to get a fullback on the wheel. But that's what I'm going for on this second spin. It's just so it's just so random to get it. Oh, shit. Please tell me that there's a 95 overall Kyle Hughes check. Yeah, you guys should have already seen this video. Did you guys see my Super Bowl MVP Patrick Mahomes video? Now, I'll give you a spoiler if you didn't see it. I went up against this George Karlaftis. It was the most broken, most unbelievable, craziest, most diabolical shit I've ever seen in Madden Ultimate Team. And that is saying a lot. I've seen some shit. I am not kidding you. I got sacked six times. Times with run and gun 92 speed Mahomes. I could not evade this man. This man was a sexual predator tracking me down and bending me over. Now you're wondering why, because you're looking at his stats and you're saying that's about as good as Nick Bosa, right? 94 speed, he even has less block shed, less power moves, less finesse moves. Bosa on paper looks better. We'll throw everything you know about anything out the window and shut the fuck up, you stupid idiot. This is the reason that it's bullshit. There are these new X factors in the game called light it up X factors. Now, for those of you who don't play a a lot of mutt. I'll explain X-Factors super quickly. X-Factors are broken, but they're very difficult to activate. Now, there are certain players in the game who get X-Factors for a couple of plays, but then it turns off. Now, just imagine for a second that there was a completely broken ability called Colossus, which gave you dominant pass rush even versus double teams. Now, imagine that it required nothing to activate it. Now, also imagine that it never turned off the entire game. Are you done imagining? Because that's the reality of these fucking cards. This shit is so stupid. It's not even 
even funny. We're running George Karlaftis. You will see. I guarantee on my life he will have two sacks minimum this game. Now, this does change my D-line, but it actually works really well because I needed a D-tackle. Uh, we just put Karlaftis in for Aaron Donald, and then Aaron Donald goes in for Shelby Harris, and now we have a fully complete D-line here. So Terminator goes to D-tackle. George Karlaftis for zero AP is going to... Like, this is this is the end game. I'm, this is the end game. Usually, you gotta wait till there's some really broken golden tickets for it to be the end game. This is the end game. All right, I got my silly little collectible here. I understand that I'm yapping my head off about this, but this is how confident I am that this is the stupidest shit I've ever seen. So we add the lighted up X Factor collectible. Activate Colossus for zero AP. I have no friends, no family, no dignity, no ethical code, but I will get a win in the NFC Championship. I can tell you that much. Let's go do something that the Dallas Cowboys haven't done since 1995. Let's go win the NFC Championship. Come on, boys. You see it on your screen. All Madden playoffs. Survive the playoffs. Let's get after it, baby. The game hasn't started. It's okay. I, you can't say I forgot. God, I've been bad about this. Our challenge really is... Oh, odd score. Give it to me. No. Game's leading receiver. Ooh. I whiffed on this one last time. So we got to come in clutch. 30 plus interception return yards. Lewis Crowder McDuffie. Yo, look at our top three. We got that car lap this up there now. Ooh, we got home field advantage in the NFC Championship too. Oh my God, I'm taking on another Cowboys fan. It's a Cowboys mirror match. He's even got the OG unis too. First and 10. Let's see what he's got here. Is he check it down? Oh, nice ball. Dude, not gonna lie. I know the jerseys are different colors, but it's still a little confusing. First and 10. He gets a nice play right there. Come on, Karlaftis. Big hit. Mm. I'm gonna blitz Harris. Give Karlaftis a one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> Christian Harris got home. Let's go. All right, second and 10. Go Karlaftis. Go Karlaftis! <laughs> Yo, just watch that shit on replay, bro. Unbelievable. And he will do it? Like, this is what's fucked up. He'll do it every play and against double teams. This isn't like some... Look at that shit. It's not like... Dude, there is no counter. It's so fucking stupid. I genuinely actually hope that they nerf it. Like, yeah, I'm excited for Wheel of Mutt, but this 100% needs to be nerfed or Madden's just over. That is a pick. Good defense, Malik. Stroud. What are we doing? All right, Matt, get it together. You know what his mistake was? His mistake was not having George Karlaftis. Gonna go play action here. He's peeling back with the D lineman, but Gronk is open for a big bomb. He's trying to overload blitz, and it's absolutely not working. Let's go, Stroud. Juke Stroud. You say go! You say go! Oh, I swear to God, I could've put that in the end zone right there. All right, let's get weird. I'm going slip screen. You think he sees a slip screen? No way, right? Oh, he just free play? Free play. Free play. Come on, Dree. Come on, Dree! Yo, that Selly was sick, dude. Oh, we gotta go for two in this game, dude. This is dominance right now. Shit, I don't even care. I actually don't care. Can I get the playmaker off? But can I make the throw? That's the problem. The kicker's... Dude, this is the NFC Championship. I should not be playing like this. What am I doing? Okay, I need to chill out. I need to chill out. I'm getting way too aggressive right now. Get a punch out. You know what's crazy about this? I don't even think I need to pass rush Christian Harris. I could just let Karlaftis... Oh! That's the first time I've seen anybody block him. He put the running back on Karlaftis. Oh, damn. Nice ball. What am I doing? I had one good stop and one good touchdown in the NFC Championship, and now I actually think I'm hot shit. When will they learn to stop press covering Zay Flowers? Will they ever? That wasn't really press coverage. That was zone with a bump, but it's on Zay Flowers. It doesn't work. That's man coverage. No, it's not. It was a pseudo. Gronk? If you ever stop running your route like that again, I'm gonna suck you clean off. Don't you do that. The slip screen was lethal last time. Can we get him again? We can. Shit. The colors. It's there. It's there. It's there. It's there. You've gotta hang on. Fourth and 14. I got deep zone KO'd right there. I need Dre as a check down. I need Gronk. I need CD. I don't know if I can get this. CD Lamb. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> and 10, let's do it again. Oh, they don't see the I form. They don't smell the I form. Nobody respects I form. Now you know, Huddle. You just hit him so bad that they're thinking, fuck, he's gonna run it again. It was such a lethal play. And that's when you run play action. And that's when you get sacked for 11 yards. Everyone settle the fuck down as I throw this heater.
Now we go right back. No! The quarter. That I form stretch was gonna be so good. Six to seven. Which cowboy is up? It's it's him. He's up, but it doesn't matter. He cannot stop I form slot in that dog shit formation. You can't stop this. You have a zero percent chance of stopping this. Ow! <laughs> Ew! Let's go! All right, we need this two point though. Unstoppable. 14-7, let's go. Dude, I know I'm a fucking hater, but actually, like, Madden gameplay has been so much fun this year. I've really enjoyed it. Now, granted, that George Karlaftis is... Dude, stop. Stop that. Now that George Karlaftis is out, I actually think it might be kind of cooked. Come on. Smart man. Smart man. I thought for sure he was gonna just throw a pick there. Okay, so we guess pass. Let's go man coverage. Boxed. Utterly fucking boxed. Jesse Bates. Dude, did I blend in with the end zone? Did Jesse Bates blend in with the Cowboys end zone there? Or did he just throw a bad ball? If you take Je Jesse Bates out of the equation there, that was a good pass. I barely saw him. I think we hit. Ooh, corner blip, dude. Oh, God, lacking. That was a corner blitz. Come on, Gronk. Naruto that bitch in. Let me see the team Selly. Get down there. Come on, McCarthy. Is this supposed to be a team Selly? How do I? Yeah. That was actually the smartest way to get that too. Because I had a chance of, of missing the pass if I threw it. Go, George. That might have been the best block I've ever seen on George Karlaftis. Dude, where are we hucking? You know, it's starting to look like Karlaftis is better when he's on the interior. Nice, nice double team on him there. We're going to try Karlaftis at D-Tackle. I've heard that this is better. Holy fucking shit. Dude, nice block pickups, though. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Oh! Great play. Burn man coverage. Nice play. We just need a good block out of CD Lamb, and I can get this. Good block out of CD Lamb. And guess what? We got it. Ow! Ow! Let's go to check down. Second and five. Look at that Stroud stat line. What do you see? Do you see on the left side of the screen the same thing that I see? Because I see, I see a guy who doesn't learn. They never do. They never do. Dude, have we done that every single game for the last five games? Zay Flowers anytime touchdown is the same odds as a Christian McCaffrey anytime touchdown in real life. In Wheel of Mutt, his odds are minus 350. Two-point conversion, push this to a 16-point game. I'm fraudulent. Holy shit, 40 bomb alert. How did I just acknowledge that? Okay, we need, a, we need to be a lot softer. Ooh, a little dribbler. Go for the punch out. What about the Harrison? The Harrison Butker punch out? You see that thing coming in? That kicker cock shot. Woo! Go, Georgie. Fuck encroachment. He's got a free play and he knows it. He's gonna huck this shit. I'm getting on George to fuck him. No! No! He just dunked on my dick on the free play! Oh my god, no shot. Why am I not swatting there though? That's entirely my fault. He does not have anything. Absolutely not. Huge stop, actually. Eight point game is huge. Oh my god, he actually just beeped. Dude, Jesse Bates has been getting exposed. Two straight games. <sighs> he's usering McDuffie? Are you out of your mind? Oh, he's not usering. Now he is. Dude, CJ Stroud's stat line is insane right now. Going weak side stretch again, just to pick this up. Great blocks. Oh, here we go. Run dot. Five rushes, 60 yards, and a tutty tree archer. Everybody is having a career day right now. Oh my god, would you fucking not press cover? Save flowers. Are you out of your mind? It's like you want to get scored on. They never learn. They don't even learn. In the same game, they don't learn. Weak side stretch. I form. Buttery butter. Buttery butter. Chance, had a chance, had a chance. All right, first and goal. 361 total yards. I need my return yards. I don't know if I have any right. Oh, Dree. Oh, but he's got his X Factor. Time this might be the first time I've activated Freight Train on Dree Archer. That's a deadly combo. We're gonna go weak side again. Should break it, Freight Train. Freight Train's so good on him because he's so little, he would never break that tackle otherwise. Gotta go RPO here. This is our first time bringing out Trap Alert Bubble. I think we just throw this to Lamb. Yeah. That awkward ass animation! <laughs> Holy shit. That is such an awkward, like, do I have to freeform that? How do I prevent that? That's the second time we've gotten in on that shit animation. Stretch. 
Hey, uh, freight train! I'm in! Oh my god, I'm in! Can we see that again? Dude, I got two arm flattened. It was actually a hell of an effort to keep me out of the end zone, but it didn't work. 36 to 20. This is the, one of the best offensive games I've ever had. Just kind of let the running back go. Because if he throws a pick here, ooh, 36 to 20 at half on pace for a 72 to 40 game. I'd onside kick if I was him. 40 bomb alert! Dude, so if we get the 40 bomb, the Super Bowl, and and I win, the Super Bowl would start with an immaculate pack. By the way, for anyone wondering, we gave away all the cards on Discord last time. I don't really use Discord at all. No fucking way you're gonna quit. No! Oh. God, you actually waited till halftime to do that. Oh, that's so annoying. Did we get the return yards? I don't remember how many return. I know we returned a deep one from the end zone. Did we get 30 though? Oh, I'm so mad. All right, boys, I'm going to be honest with you. I have already opened an immaculate box without actually scoring 40. So I'm not going to open it. I know I, know I definitely was going to score 40, but I already done that before. I feel like I actually need to score the 40 this time. So I'm not going to open it, but I will do two things. I'm going to take my challenge wheel pack and I'm going to take my rage quit wheel pack. Well, whatever my rage quit wheel is. I'm going to rip this uh, three times pro playmaker bundle. Any pack from the store coin or training. So I can do this. I do think we got our challenge wheel. I should have been tracking, but I was a little too locked in. Do Judy Ertz stole Jackson Oliver Jenkins bunch of shite would basically have to pull one of the NFL honors limiteds that are available right now. Don't like my odds on that, but hey, you never know. Charles Woodson, Njoku, Trey Flowers, Gus Edwards. Packs are so ass this year, man. It's kind of a bummer. This would be very helpful for the start of the new Wheel of Mutt season, but obviously not here. Newsome, Ed Reed, Dexter, Otto Graham. Luckily, the Rage Quit Wheel could still clutch up for us. Three, two, one, spin. Definitely a Rage Quit Wheel spin. Sad, dude. I really wanted to open that immaculate, but I want to earn the 40. I want to earn the 40 this time around. Ooh, that is a great it's a great rage quit wheel spin plus three on one o lineman um i think we go cam jurgens here so i could either make russ grim a 95 or make cam jurgens a 92 yeah let's go cam jurgens so now we can just pick up any 92 overall right guard in the game i'm excited about that there is robert hunt or logan mankins i'm probably gonna take robert hunt i like him a lot yeah good run blocking stats on oh, bobby hunt all right plus three on the o-line thanks to the rage quit so not not all hope is lost but i am a little sad about that honestly it would have been smart for me to like let him score to keep it closer but not in the nfc championship in the nfc championship it is not worth risking that hell of an episode there is only one game between us and a fourth is it fourth or fifth oh my god i'm blanking i think it's a fourth super bowl ring which would give me one more than patty mahomes one game between us and a fourth super bowl ring next episode is the super bowl which also means we're getting one more prestige player last season i prestiged jalen carter we know jalen carter did not get defensive rookie of the year so he didn't get a card honestly George Karlaf, this is an insane prestige. Just because of this Colossus ability and how insane it is. It's a weird prestige because there's about a 0% chance George Karlaf this ever gets another card, but we are getting close to the end game to where I kind of just prestige the best player. Christian Harris is absolutely insane, so I don't hate that prestige either. Lawrence Taylor will get another card. Lawrence Taylor will absolutely be getting an ultimate legend, so he's on the radar. Bo Jackson will be getting an ultimate legend, but it'll be a halfback. All right, boys. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. As always, amazing NFC championship. In fact, two good of an NFC championship. All right, boys. I love y'all. Thanks for watching as always. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.